My first guest can be seen in the new movie, The Albino Nutcrackers vs. Santa Claus. Please welcome Karen Village. Great. So first, you look so cool wearing a patch. I love patches. And uh, I got to know, how'd you lose your eye? Well, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, <laughs> I was at uh, summer camp when I was little, and um, I was crossing a rope bridge, everyone's favorite, and this branch shattered and left this razor-sharp spike sticking out, oh. and I fell face-first right on it. Oh, and it went through your eye? No, no, through my cheekbone. Uh, so I thought I was okay, but then a squirrel ran out on the spike and ate my eyeball out of the socket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is kind of funny. I mean, it's horrible, but it's funny. So did you catch the squirrel and uh, make it your pet or eat it? No, this is where it, where it gets even funnier, I think, is that what ended up happening, I couldn't find him, so I uh, had to get about 15 different, you know, do the rabies shot the next time. Oh, that's funny. Here's a question I always wanted to ask you. Like, you know how if you're blind, they say your senses become better, like you can hear better or you could smell better? Can you, like, smell better out of, like, one of your nostrils? No, yes, no. Actually, that, that's true. So, so out of uh, this side, nothing. And then on this side, I can, oh, I can smell a pie on, on the window side. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the new film, The Albino Nutcrackers versus Santa Claus. What's it about? Well, it's about a lot of albinos taking on Santa Claus. <laughs> of course it is. I bet they're nutcrackers. We got a clip. Let's take a look. Ouch. Leave him alone, you albino nutcrackers. Uh -huh. Let's get out of here. Santa, are you okay? They took my clothes and my sleigh. It's really cold out here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can get some blood running through it. Very funny clip. Thanks for coming by, Karen. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Merry Christmas to Go you. Go see the movie. It's the Albino Nutcrackers versus Santa Claus. We'll be right back with stand-up from Uncle Snowman. <laughs> Good crowd tonight. You guys are in for a treat. One of my favorite stand-ups. He'll be performing this week at the Ice House. Welcome, Uncle Snowman. All right, baby. How are you? Uncle Snowman. Yeah, I love you too, baby. Yeah, the Snowman. Good to be here. Yeah, baby. They said I could do ten minutes or until I melt. Here's a question for you. What do you do under the mistletoe? Kiss. Yeah, you kiss. Everybody knows that. Well, guess what? The jury at my trial didn't know that. <laughs> I have some mistletoe hanging over the door of my van. Yeah, she fell in the van. I tried to give her eggnog. Suddenly, the authorities are involved. Oh, bad day for the snowman. Just got out of the hospital. I'm doing okay now. It was all a big misunderstanding. I was at Home Depot. I'm walking down the aisle, and I see this display for a snowblower. <laughs> Turns out it was different than what I thought it was. I tried that thing like 18 different ways. Finally couldn't walk. They say orange is the new black. But herpes, still red and pussy. Yeah. Don't I know it. I'm smelling carrots. Anybody else? Carrots? It's really strong. I hope that's not a sign of a stroke. You smell carrots, is it? I don't know. People get uncomfortable when you talk about race. But you have to admit, the toughest race is the Iditarod. Yeah. Race those dogs across the Arctic. The Iditarods are also very tight with money. Short arms and deep pockets, those people. Yeah. 
Here's a science question for you. How do you melt a solid foot of ice? Put a condom on it, baby. That's how you do it. Yeah. I was with a lady the other night. Things were getting hot and heavy. And then suddenly she sits up and goes, ah, brain freeze. I tried to be sensitive. I said, hey, I don't pay you to have a slurpy headache, do I? Yeah, back to work. Ah, oh, come on. I'm never happy when I see nude photos of celebrities leaked on the internet. No, not because I'm worried. Hey, everybody's seen my snowballs. I don't like them because the snowman's not good with a computer. Only picture I found was of Larry King. And I'm not even sure it was him because it was from behind. All I could see was suspenders and the back of a sack hanging to his knees. Oh, 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 yeah. It got the job done, but still, I was open for Jennifer Lawrence. I was at a party the other night, baby, getting all jazzed up. And this girl comes up to me, and she thought I was the Michelin man. I'm thinking, I'm not that fat. And then she goes on to tell me she has a big crush on the Michelin man. Oh, who am I to shatter dreams? Yeah, baby. That night she blew a tire. Oh, at least she thinks she did. I'm smelling carrots again. Is it just me? Come on. Honest with me, guys. Oh, yes. The Kardashian girls. Let's talk about them. I love them. Someone asked me the other day, what order would you have sex with the Kardashian sisters? I said, that's easy. First, I'd have anal sex. Then I would have oral sex. Then probably the titties. Same answer goes for the mom and Bruce Jenner. All right, that's my time. I'm Uncle Snowman. Good night. Uncle Snowman, everybody. Okay, well, that's it for the King Rat Christmas special. I want to apologize to the zombie car girls. We ran long. We'll have them on next time. And I want everybody out there to have a great Christmas. I'm King Rat. Good night. Good night.